Welcome back, guys, to another Houston Kilby show. Uh, this week, got some really cool stuff for you, so let's rock and roll. Okay, guys, uh, we are finally back on this dash. I know you guys have been waiting for this for a while now. What am I going to do? How am I going to handle it? But I think I've kind of got something to figure out. And uh, as you guys seen in the last episode, we figured out how to make some uh, circles on the bead roller to kind of give this panel some depth. And uh, I think we're going to do some different stuff. I've been really studying on this and constantly when you're building something that's one off, like nothing else, you're kind of building stuff on the fly, thinking things on the fly, and it can be kind of tough sometimes. But anyways, uh, what we're going to kind of do today is it's going to be a two-piece panel, what I'm thinking here, if I'm thinking right. and. Uh, we're going to add some different stuff in there. I'm kind of thinking right here where the air box would have been. Uh, since there's no other controls or knobs going to be on this thing, I'm um, going we'll do away with that. It just doesn't look right. It actually looks, when it's in there, it looked like some sort of radio or something. I didn't like that. So, doing away with that. I'm almost thinking about putting an emblem or something right there. Uh, you guys will see more into this once I. Uh, make these pieces here but that's a plan for the episode today uh, we're going to try to make this piece and uh, see what happens so let's we'll see if this is going to be a fail or not and uh, if it is a fail I'll show you guys what we're going to do to uh, make this work okay guys so if this does fail so like there would be where that panel would be at I don't know if you guys can see it no, it's kind of dark in here but uh Basically, there's still some of this plastic left in here. And if this makes sense, if we cannot use the aluminum panel, what I'm wanting to do here, I'm basically going to clean all that up on the inside there. Basically, just cut it all out and make it really clean looking in there because it's really close to the firewall anyways. So if we kind of zoom out back here, you can kind of see we'll still retain the outer look of the dash there and still have the stock look to it going on but uh, just remember this car is an EFI car uh, we'll have like a kind of imagine this being like a data logger screen or like a dominator screen or something it'll kind of sit right there so I can see it in the driver's seat there but anyways you know we'll have all of our controls mounted right here for our digital stuff and then you know our dash will just be pretty much a blank dash, It'll just be a fake looking setup. But something kind of thinking there, keep that in mind as we're building this. If it works, awesome. If not, uh, we got that to fall back on and I think it'll still look really good. But anyways, let's get back into it. Okay guys, this is kind of what we've come up with here. Now we kind of went off of uh, this deal here and uh, we're going to see what we can come up with here. Um, we've got even spacing on both the bottom and the top now where our holes are going to be. Whereas on this original piece here, you got, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but originally these two center holes here, they're actually a bigger diameter than what this hole and this hole is. And you know when it's in the gauge cluster of the stock plastic panel, what's in the car, you really can't see it. But now where we've went uh, full blown crazy and all kinds of different stuff, you can definitely tell it now. So, piece I'm making, we're going to even it out on both sides. That way it looks uniform. I still matched it up with, we got a wider space between right there, so you can kind of see that compared to there and there. But uh, still kind of giving it that original ish look. Uh, on over here, this is something I'm kind of playing with. It's sitting set in stone. I'm just trying to figure out something to kind of take up this space right here. Uh, this is like uh, the original GTO emblem that comes out of the grill. Uh, just kind of playing around with some stuff, and then like these lines here would just be kind of just straight line bead rolls. I don't know. Just something playing with that's not set in stone. The main thing is getting these holes done out right and see what that looks like. Then we can do this. Those first, then that. But anyways, kind of playing with it, see what we got, and we're gonna keep on rocking here. 
Okay, I just wanted to show you guys something real quick with the stickers I got here. Uh, anytime I buy something or whatever, and anytime I use something on my car or anything we're building in the shop, I've been putting it on the box. I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but we're starting to get the st the, the stickers <laughs> to look good. The stickers, that ain't good. The stickers, starting to get the stickers to look cool on here. And uh, we're turning our ghetto box into a cool looking uh, pit box, but uh, it's looking good. Um, got several more stickers to put on there. Fill it up and I'll let you guys see these there. Got our auto plumb, our aerial space, and uh, we are rocking and rolling, man. Looking good. Okay, guys, we're about to stomp this bad boy out. And looks like we got lined up there. And we got lined up there. Okay, double check. Boom. Boom. All right. How this thing works is you simply just stomp it down. Boom, just like that. Bam. This machine is daggum awesome. Got it from uh, Northern, and these things are worth every penny because look how straight that cut is right there. Boom. Okay guys, check this out. It's kind of what we're working with so far. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, definitely that cardboard piece that's back there behind will be uh, making a sheet metal panel there. And uh, that piece will be black. And uh, probably keep this piece like a brushed aluminum look or something like that. Uh, but to mount this on here, what I'm thinking is in the center of each hole will be an Allen head. And then around the border of this deal will be like little small Allen heads just every so often just to hold it in place. And then right over here, on this end, we're gonna put like a GTO emblem run right across through there. And then maybe a bead roll right there, and a bead roll right there on that black panel back there. And I think that'll look good, make it a two-piece dash. And uh, that'll be our delete panel. Uh, Hannah, hand me that little panel right there. Please. And, uh, and again, this just represents our little our um, computer dash. It's going to be right here. It's to be like either a, like it's a race pack, or if it was a uh, poly dominator, or whatever I end up going with, or fuel tech panel, or whatever. It'd be mounted right there. So there'd be our digital dash, and then there's our delete panel. And I think that'll look cool. I'm liking this a lot better. Um, I was really, honestly, ready to just delete this whole thing sand all the edges in here make it real nice and smooth and not have nothing in here but uh, i think this is going to look okay i'm liking this a whole lot better than what we had before this is the panel we had before and i just don't like it there's too many bolt holes there's too many just it just looks very cheap and very thrown together and i don't like that i want it to match the rest of the car and this just doesn't look that good i don't think but that's what we're working with. Uh, we're gonna keep on working here and get us something going. We need to make that next panel there and uh, start mounting some stuff together, see how this kind of looks. And we may have to make another panel again in here to get it really looking spot on. I mean, this is the first one of these that I've made that's got those circled in areas. And I think that really turned out really wicked looking. And uh, we're gonna keep rocking here. We're gonna keep rolling. What is up guys? This daggum dash is kicking my butt, so uh, it's time to take a break from that for a minute. What do you guys think about taking this old girl 
outside and see what it looks like. I'm ready to see this GTO from a different angle. Uh, it's been wearing me out. We've been working on this thing nonstop. So uh, let's take this thing outside. Let's see what it looks like. snap guys this is the first time it's came outside the building my cutie butt helped me out thank you Hannah and uh, check this thing out we used the old Pontiac to pull the Pontiac out and uh, this thing is looking pretty wicked just getting it out of the shop for the first time I needed to see this thing so bad just been working on everything like crazy and uh, I am very, very happy. Look at the stance on this thing. Just super wicked. It's got that nasty look to it right now. The full metal goat is out. Pop the hood up. Gotta strut a little bit. Gotta strut. Oh yeah. Flexing. Check that out. What do you think, Hannah? Pretty cool. Pretty cool, don't no. What's new? Amy, what do you think? You helping? Are you helping? She's helping. Did you, did you drive the tow car? Huh? Boom, guys. Check this out, man. Finally got to see my four-door car beside my two-door GTO. Uh, both of these are 66s uh, and this one's just a four-door car. This one's a Tempest and that one's a GTO. Super excited. Man, it's a very cool moment right now. Um, Hannah, she's awesome help for me today. Helped me pull it out. She drove the four-door there and uh, awesome tow car out right there. Awesome tow car. But we are rocking in and rolling right now. I uh, just wanted to kind of show you guys this moment right here and share this with you and uh, we're about to roll it back in and get back after it. What's going on guys man we are back at this thing we've got both of these bad boys sitting out here super cool moment feels really good to have both my Pontiacs out here and I uh, get to see them beside each other it's been a really long time coming and uh, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh, joining me on this journey right here but uh, I guess it's getting a little bit dark here and uh, it's time to put them up and uh, get back after it.